Hi, hello, I'm Darby. Welcome to my channel. And this is every five-star book I read in 2023. When I reflect on what I chose to read, what I actually read in 2023, I think I was driven by this motivation to catch up with the rest of booktube. For better or for worse, when I started to get back into reading, I went straight to social media to search for things to read. And when I did that, I immediately got the sense that there is this unofficial canon of contemporary fiction and classical books that this internet community is super familiar with, but that I was very clueless about. And I think my list of five-star reads will make this very obvious. It's a mix of classics, new books, contemporary fiction, but they are all things that I learned about through booktube. First on my list is Annihilation. Annihilation is about a biologist who goes on a dangerous expedition into the mysterious Area X. Most of the book is the interior ruminations of the main character, so it ends up feeling like eat, pray, love with monsters. My next five-star read is My Year of Rest and Relaxation. The book is about a woman who attempts to hibernate in her New York City apartment for a year by sedating herself with drugs and television. This is a book that definitely hits differently after 2020. And I say this because when I watched reviews of this book, most of them pre-2020 um, focused on kind of the first world privilege and problems of the main character. But then post lockdown, I think we have we can all kind of like relate to her experience a little bit. This book also started my super long streak of reading about unhinged women. What I think this book does super well, and what makes it more interesting than the other books about unhinged women that I read, was that it takes the kind of genre standard cliches of a misanthropic, friendless, aimless loner and takes it to a really satirical extreme. My next five star read is Normal People and I totally get the hype. It is the bookish, pretentious, nerdy girl fantasy. It is about the prettiest, smartest, richest girl in a small town who is deeply misunderstood by everyone. A sensitive jock on the rugby team falls in love with her. It's obvious that they're destined for one another, but they have a little growing up to do before they get to that point. For me, it was pure dramatic indulgence. I really loved it, and I really love the way Sally Rooney writes. My next five-star read is The Idiot. And this is kind of an antidote to normal people. And what I like about The Idiot is it takes a lot of those same raw ingredients from normal people, but makes it a comedy. It's about a bookish linguist who attends her freshman year at Harvard, but her attendance at maybe the most prestigious university on the planet does not prevent everyone she meets from treating her like a big dummy doo-doo brain. And by the end of the book, when she looks back on her freshman year at college, she has no choice but to agree with them. She is an idiot. My next five star read is Severance. I have a very acute, vivid sense of memory of reading Severance right in the middle of the continuous, never ending winter rainstorms in San Francisco. During the week I read this, I had this routine of waking up, immediately doom scrolling, looking for fresh layoff announcements, doing my nine to five, logging off and reading this book. It was one of those moments when you're reading fiction and what the character is going through is also what you're going through. Next, uh, I have to talk about how much I loved Big Swiss. It's about a slightly feral bisexual woman who is a transcriber for her local teeny tiny towns, like sex therapist. She secretly gets involved with one of her employer's clients and hijinks ensue. This book taught me the concept of terminal uniqueness and I've already overused it amongst my friends to the point of meaninglessness. The next book on my list is the most emotionally intense thing I read this year. I was totally absorbed by it. I think I actually lived in the head of the main character the entire time I was reading it. And that book is Chlorine. The main character is a type A, high functioning, obsessive teenager who is determined to become a mermaid. I really love this book, but I highly recommend you have something fluffy and light queued up to just kind of chase it with. I ended my streak of reading about unhinged women by reading The Mother, The Blueprint, The Bell Jar. The Bell Jar is patient zero for big-brained women trapped by the societal and biological pressures of being a woman, and it still reads very fresh, very modern, very contemporary, despite being written however many decades ago. In 2023, I only had two real reading goals, two books that I absolutely had to read, and this is one of them. It is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. It is gorgeously written, deeply melancholic, 
It is a legitimate action adventure novel with real suspense and real mystery. After I read the book, I did a little wrap up video of all the misconceptions I had and surprises I learned when I read Frankenstein. And it ended up being one of my favorite videos I made last year. My final five star read and my favorite book of 2023 is Dracula. I had so much fun reading it and I could not stop talking about it after I finished it. It's not the first vampire book, it's maybe not the best, but it's my favorite. I think that's a wrap for this video. If you made it this far, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.